Hello, greetings. So there are many sacrifices. My mother had to go so that I would come to Dubai and this would come out openly. And so I'm bringing out my life story as a Shabazz Kalandar, I feel, since a voice has been telling me that this, the whole world will know about this. And since now, it turned out to be Radha Rani. So I'm not being very hard on myself because uh, I have now left that uh, self-destructive tendencies, <laughs> trying to, uh, I've felt a lot of guilt. <laughs> so um, no more of that we call in some religious order, Malamati, Sufi order, who blame themselves. Anyhow, uh, let's see what this is. I hope gently we can find out about Radha Rani through me. So, you know, what was that song? Love Takes Time. Was it, uh, I think Celine Dion has uh, sang it. Okay, and uh, I've also made some mistakes. Please forgive me for that. And uh, so I got confused in that uh, feet and shoes. What, the person who didn't have shoes was complaining. So let me set this straight. So this is how I get confused. I used to a lot. And I thought it was in, in St. Joseph's College. I realized, I thought that it was allergy, you know, having antihistamines and uh, yeah so I get uh, all confused at times not articulate and uh, some strange behavior will come out of me even now as I speak so yeah this is very very abnormal so hope you can bear with me uh, when whilst Whilst I find out what I am and what love is, what this life is, because little do I understand now, even more so uh, than before, because my miracles were broken. No, miracles happen, but um, as we say during the Karbala time, Kufa, Sham, Imam Hussain's. Uh, you know, where there is zulm, there are miracles taking place also. So, but emotionally, I'm sorry, I fail to understand right now what this is and who is this breathing on my left side. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've got these uh, schizophrenic hallucinations and all. This is extremely wicked. It was really extremely wicked for me to take. I only survived because of, um, in the hope of meeting the principal, Mrs. Munira Gulzar. May God protect her and keep her safe and give her a very long life. As long as I live, at least uh, that she lives too. And how do I console a mother? Recently I found out through someone that her son so uh, there are some things so wicked I, for me, um, I cannot, uh, I want to avoid them. And uh, mommy, is this you crying too with me? Uh, I felt the Imam Ali crying inside of me once in Karachi when I was asleep. Uh, there were these uh, uh, lucid dreaming too, yeah, thanks. Uh, Igor just, uh, I was going through his videos, reminded me of these, you know, when you're semi-conscious and you know that you can, at least you know that you are uh, asleep and you're dreaming. It is a dream. Another part of you knows that you are dreaming. These things happened to me when, I think because I was doing I, I was going to the yogi, Professor Moez, and buying all these books, spiritual books. 
and like uh, during the sleep you know someone has come and then you wake up to know that yes that person had come just things like that but you're lucid you're semi conscious and you're dreaming that this person has come and has truly come you feel it a very strange kind of uh, things happening but uh, now um, yeah igor uh, who uh, the interviewer with due respect was asking him what is this uh, lucid dreaming so another thing is uh, i have to speak about so many things and very complicated and i'm in a shock uh, again and again uh, they're telling me that um, i don't know it's coming uh, how far shall i how to believe this it's a shock of my life so what to make of this uh, um against uh, hazrat maryam my miraculous god my great relationship with the principal which was great for 2 years in st joseph's college um and uh, great with her sister carrying her bag miss shafika fikri and it would have been greater and greater all the blessings of god so i i was reminded of that song yaadon ki barat nikli ab now my heart is quite wrenched and i don't even yeah i still have a broken heart so i we could have you know missed this saw missed this saw's family friends with uh, mrs munira gulzar my mother her teacher mrs munira gulzar's student favorite one of her favorite students hasina moen and hasina moen then favorite teacher of uh, no hasina moen's one of her favorite teacher was Mrs Munira Gulzar I found out so oh my god and my mother's favorite teacher in Khalik Dina school was uh, Miss Hasina Moen so i guess very sadly and i cannot say how sad i am i just say uh, reminded me of the song uh, Anita Baker's take the memories take the best of what we have had i can stand to so when you love someone that's the song title yes yeah, so uh, also i would like to mention uh, the thing going on in me about radha rani shri krishna if i am radha rani questions then what about prophet muhammad why was i born a muslim what's the significance of all this so yeah, what happened is that day yesterday or something i started to think that uh, please just give me some time because you know love takes time someone even sang this sometimes there are problems people create problems but uh, the hindus really love their radha rani believed in her in the sense that their way of belief is a science you are discovering and uh, they have okay how far could they be misguided in this science of the rishis and creating deities also or whatever the vedic and all this is so we find out how far can they be misguided and uh, who are we and then maybe yes we are someone to go there and find out but i wanted to go to india and find out i got an easy way out facebook came and a social media sages came on social media uh, so these are real people at first they were giving me problems people were saying don't go on facebook it's all fake ids and how do you know this person is true and but now it's so uh, rampant 
widespread and people have come, many, many people have come and it's true, they are uh, the thing. But before they were saying, put, put it off, put it off, you know, this is all junk. And um, especially the enemy would really want me to get cut off from social media. So I don't know, I don't remember exactly what happened that day. Yesterday I was, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday or day before yesterday that I was like, how could Rasulullah be so strict? And, you know, because Radha Rani, uh, I just touched on something. Like, I cannot uh, say right now, I've even forgotten. So it came out that uh, they were telling me that was he mad or something? to be so hard on the uh, idolaters. Now that uh, we see the other side, that, uh, you know, this is, they have a whole science and it's a discovery and, and we believe that, no, no, very strict, come here. Like this is all misguided stuff. So could he not have gently guided us? Even today, like, Ismaili Imam is doing, Hazir Imam is gently guiding his uh, people, his uh, followers. Uh, they call um, them his disciples, Murids, and also. And uh, so that's how, uh, you know, we should uh, tolerate. And if, like, we thought, no, no, Rasul, if you feel Islam is the truth, then this is all like shit. This is idolatry. This is adulteration. This is adulteration and this is all taking you to the deities and you are worshipping false things which the Quran itself says gives you no harm. Neither does it give you any benefit. Okay, thank God it doesn't. At least the Quran has <laughs> accepted that it cannot harm you. And then on the other side, like if there were many gods, the Quran says they'll be fighting amongst each other. But that, yes, I've seen that uh, there was a certain, like Vishnu, Brahma, Shiva, then Shiva told them. But I was wondering if uh, there, let's suppose there are lesser gods, and why would they have these conflicts and fight and all this? The more fights that have taken place with this, Islam, advent of Rasulullah's religion, uh, egos in people and, you know, all these things, uh, stubbornness and unwilling to see the truth and be, you know, to, uh, couldn't it be another way, gentle way to give the truth and, okay, cutting those people out like, those are terrible adul adulterators, mixing and false, making false gods. So the gods would be fighting amongst each other. But these deities, well, if you make voodoo out of me, I'll probably feel the pricks. You know, the voodoo magic. So there are certain will powers and mind powers. People use certain ways. So these deities can uh, be activated, as I'm told. I've uh, found out through Dr. Pillai and uh, others also that we, some of the, who was saying, Sadhguru or someone, I don't know, but that uh, they made these deities. They had to make a, a certain video of Sadhguru. I saw. They made these deities and Thing. So, was it Sadhguru? Sorry, now. Okay, there's now Igor also, Kufai, Kufayev. Uh, I hope I've pronounced his name properly. And uh, many things. So, I'm discovering, I'm also confused. There are many people uh, who are not sure about only how can you be sure about a religion and then you're saying that we are sure about it. Like, you're sure that Rasulullah was the prophet, messenger of God? Did God, uh, God didn't tell you, but I have been so 
like admiring Imam Hussain and his sacrifice. Although, yes, I'm not like those religious scholars with due respect to those religious scholars, true people, true religious people. But can you really uh, just, like, how can you just uh, say that? No, it's not how. But since you uh, believe in Rasulullah, God knows. Okay, let me put it this way, at least. From my point of view, Shias, 12 verse Shias. We have 12 Imams. If now the Shias are misguided, like my mother, I felt, and that they were saying, no, this is a test from God. Okay, then like my father was saying that, uh, where the world has reached the moon and you're talking about black magic. So wasn't he talking about Nazar? One person told him, God knows where in India when he went, that there is, take this out, salt, do this. So he did it. He was doing it. And so the world has gone. So now we have a disease here. We've reached the moon, but down here we are dying. I mean, we are suffering. There are very less deaths, but... It is a very contagious disease and people will be suffering. I don't want to even think about this because I have this uh, breathing problem since a long time. Oxygen was not going into my brains, I felt, in St. Joseph's College when I was there. So, should I conclude this by saying that uh, where the Hindus have reached in their sadhana's practices, you can see where is Sadhguru, how they speak, Igor, how articulate, uh, where are, I mean, at least Sri Krishna and Radha Rani of now, today, are quiet, or I'm talking, but Sri Krishna is very silent, he doesn't say a word. But nevertheless, the point is that these Hindus, sages, gurus, sadgurus, where they are, that they are now helping the world. Uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji. And I've just lost my everything. God gave me a punishment. Was it that I'm Radha Rani? I would find out. I lost uh, what a... It was such a miracle. So, you know, Whitney Houston song, because I cannot complete but just the song. Thank you for giving me a voice when I don't have a voice. Okay, so, don't ever throw away a miracle. I'll continue this later.